Tornado on the ground. This video shows Monday's twister charging into Moore, Oklahoma. We have large debris in the air. The funnel cloud morphed within moments into an historic EF5 tornado with winds topping 200 miles per hour. But it's basically cover going across I-35 right now in Moore. So this was the scene Monday afternoon at the National Weather Service in Norman, Oklahoma, where Chief Forecaster Dave Andra was tracking the storm. So that is the tornado smacking Moore. That is the tornado in Moore. He issued an emergency tornado warning, used only in extreme storms for the first time in 10 years. He called for it 16 minutes before the tornado hit Moore. Did you know it was going to be as severe as it was, or just knew that it was potentially trouble? We knew the potential existed for particularly strong tornadoes that afternoon. Were you looking at the storm not only as a forecaster, but as a father and husband? You can't separate them. When you know what the outcome may be, uh, your family is vulnerable just like everyone else out there. My gut told me to leave. Elizabeth Farrar, Andra's stepdaughter, lives in Moore. They talked Monday morning about whether she should leave with her husband Abe and their 13-month-old son, Keegan. I know his tones, I know how he says things, and I could tell that he was concerned about Monday. You hoped that this was one of those moments when a daughter actually listened to her father. As they get older, they listen more. <laughs> the tornado threw a construction dumpster onto Farrar's roof, on top of a bathroom where the family might have sought shelter. And when you came home and you saw the dumpster mm -hmm. sitting on top of the baby's bathroom. Yes, I lost it. Seeing it the way that it is just, I mean, I know that we don't have the type of damage that a lot of these other people do, but it's still, it's still traumatic. Ferrara's stepfather is uh, relieved, of course, that everyone in his family survived this. But Jeff, he says it's hard to feel satisfied with the job he did sounding the alarm when so many people did die. All right, Mark, thank you.